Okay, y'all, so we're trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure this out overall. And my son was walking. He had to walk this bridge coming from home. Let's go a little closer. Walking this bridge. Y'all seen my last video? We got here. This is the Pet Boys. So I don't know if he actually went around all of this just to get to the tracks. There's two tracks over here. You got one going to Scotch Lane right here, and then you got one going to Scotch Lane over here. But this one over here that's going to Scotch Lane, I think this is a bridge. But it looked like two, two crossovers as well. Two crossovers to Scotts to, uh, uh, let me see. It looked like only one, actually. So y'all seen my last video. I was I was on this bridge, if you look on my last video, and you seen there was a way you can get in there through here, through this area, going down there. Now, when you come up, this one goes to Scotts Lane. This goes to Scotts Lane. And Scotts Lane come around. And there's also a track right here. But this one looked more like this is a bridge right here. So he, I don't think he was walking to get to Scotts Lane when it's not even a way to get off the off the bridge. Because this Ridge Avenue over here. So he would have had to have been walking on the bridge and they found him. See, this is the overpass bridge right here, Scotts Lane. This, that goes under. This one over here. You can get off right here on Scotts Lane. So he could have been on his way somewhere to get off Scotts Lane and go to someone's house, maybe over in this area right here, whoever live in this neighborhood, one of his friends or whatever. Somebody live around here, and I've seen a few youngins in a picture that he used to hang with. In the background of their picture, it was like somewhere over here. In the background of their picture, i seen these Train, I seen the trains. The train, the train tracks in the little electric little areas from one of his friends on Instagram. But pretty much they didn't give me too much information about knowing that he walks on the track to go to their house. So I didn't push up on it. Pretty cool young boy, left it alone. The reality of it is, they had nothing to do with the way he was murdered, the way he got killed. I ain't going to say murdered. I ain't going to use that. That's like if somebody did it. What happened to my son was he got electrocuted, landed on a track. The train ran over him. We thankful that it ain't go over his head, go over his face, but it pretty much went over the bottom part of his body. Okay, that's what happened to my son. He got electrocuted first. And then the train, but why he was down there, what he was down there for, I don't know. Why did he go down there? And I want to ask him that so bad. Like, what was down there, Core? What was down there to where as though you needed to go down there and walk on this track and get electrocuted? So it started from the Henry Avenue Bridge from what the police told us. He found his way amongst the overpass. So this is the only way to get down there from what I'm seeing. I don't think he's going to walk. This is the hill if you watch the last video. So let's move on. All right. So let's go back here. All right. So this is. This right here. They found him around this area. It had to be. I don't consider him going on the other bridge. It had to be around here. What he could have touched that electrocuted him. What my son may have touched. I don't see no third rail. I see regular rails. These not third rails. Unless he can still. I don't know. I'm not a trained expert. 
I don't know, but I walked on these type of tracks before back in my time, which it was a more wide range coming from uh, Glenwood Avenue over to um, going towards Fifth Simon. So we was going towards like York, York Street and um, Cumberland and all of that. We was crossing the tracks to get over there. It was a wide range, though. So you could see a train way ahead of time. It was a wide opening. So we was hurrying up crossing just to get to school. But we never touched things. Could it have been this he touched? Where it say danger at right here? Could it have been them poles? Could it have been this green thing he touched? And it made him land on a track? What my son may have touched coming from that bridge we just seen. That could have killed him and got electric and, and electrocuted him. Is it this right here? He could have walked over and touched and thought it was a regular pole. If anybody know, please write in the comments what you may think he could have have touched. It's kind of hard to let just the story go, man, with my kid. It hurt, man, because I wish I could talk to him like right now and ask him. Yo, what did you touch? Like, what? It, why is you even walking down there? Why was you walking down there, man? What is on your mind? You know, I'm having dreams over and over about my son, man, and missing him. And I, it just hurt that I'm never going to see him again. It bothers me bad, man. And I know many parents is going through the same thing. You know, I see some wires. They say he walked into like live wires that could have been hanging. Is it this right here? Is he is these wires? Was these wires low? But they normally have this stuff intact. Was it this wire right here that was hanging? These was these hanging? And he walked into these. Was it that? If anybody know would have any idea. Feel free to give me a contact or, or not even a contact because it's really not too much to talk about. It's not like they know somebody did something to them. But, I mean, feel free to write in the comments what y'all believe what may have happened because this is the other way through Scotch Lane. We're coming through Scotch Lane now. And this is the other bridge right here. Come out, this is all the, the underpass that I just showed y'all. This is the other bridge. I don't think he was walking on this overpass going where only thing I could think of. He was going, he was getting off of the, the one before y'all just seen and cutting up in that neighborhood to go to somebody house. I don't think he was walking on this side and just walk straight down unless he may have and tried it before. And I don't know, y'all. You know, I'm very curious. I'm haunted by this. It's, it's haunting me to know what could have happened to my kid, man. It's an unsolved mystery. I'm trying to figure out what could have electrocuted my kid and killed him and laid him on the tracks to where, to where as though a train ran over his legs and hip around that area. My son was dead before that even happened. But what wire? I'm so curious. If anybody know, leave the comments. Leave it in the comments so it can help me come to a little closure about this. Because I'm bothered. I'm haunted. It's a mystery. And I'm curious. Peace of love, everybody.